Hey there, Dave City Sewing again. Today we got the 206RB-5 console uh, walking foot lock stitch machine. It's generally used in lightweight upholstery. Um, going to give you a quick overview of all the pertinent areas of it and a short demonstration. Here's the walking foot mechanism right here. The foot, you have a two-piece foot. It gives you the step, plus you have the feed dogs, which you drop feed. Back here, you have a lever that is a manual lift for the foot, so you can raise the foot up. You can place your material under there, or if you need to thread it, or if you need to make any adjustments, you can keep it lifted there. Otherwise, you can use a standard knee lift. Uh, this is your tension assembly. It's basic, basic any, any uh, lock stitch machines, you want to have a single tension for each needle, and this is a single needle, so you have one tension knob. So this is your stitch differential stitch knob. What this does is it increases or lowers the stitches per inch. And in general, the numbers on there are usually just reference only, so it because everything comes into play needle size, thread size, and weight of material apply. So you just use those for reference if you're looking for a certain stitch per inch. This is your reverse lever here. Pull it depressed, the machine will go into reverse and stitch the same rate in reverse as it does forward. Uh, this is oil, oil and reservoir. This machine has a wick system, a gravity wick system. You put oil in here, the wicks carry it throughout the machine as it travels down over time. These machines are great machines. This is the largest stitch that this machine right here will do, and it's about three stitches per inch, give or take, you know. Um, we'll take it all the way down to sorted stitch in just a second. It should be uniformed on the rear, on the back of the material as well, which it is. So I'm going to drop my stitches per inch. Now I'll take it to about the halfway point of what it'll do. This time I'm going to sew about three inches and I'm going to hit reverse as I'm sewing so I actually never have to let off the machine continue to run and that's uh, when you back tack you, you're you ensuring that that stitch stays together right at that spot and be a high stress area and stuff like that it seems our stitch length then dropped from three stitches per inch down to about five five and a half should be uniform on the reverse side also. As it kicked into reverse, I still get to maintain the same stitch length. You can see the individual definitions as I went back in reverse that they stayed pretty much the same length. Thank you for watching the video on our console 206 RB5, D City Sewing. We'd be glad to answer your questions. Come by and see us.